My name is Hexer, and I'm going to tell you the meaning of kosher. You might have heard somebody say, I don't think that's going to be kosher. We can say this when we don't like something, or conversely, when we want to emphasize that it's okay. In other words, it's kosher. It is, in fact, all about food. And you could say that the point is not to get sick. Kosher food has just got to meet all kinds of rules called kashrut. Obviously, it also has a deeper meaning. We get these rules from the Torah. There is even a list of permitted and prohibited animals. Kosher mammals are those that chew their cud and are cloven-hoofed, for example, a cow, a sheep, or a goat. You may know that a pig is not kosher, but did you know that neither is a rabbit, a hare, or a horse? Why? Well, because they're not ruminant ungulates. Come on, people. And what about a giraffe? Ha! Domestic poultry like hen, chicken, goose, or duck. Mmm, kosher. And there's also a black list of prohibited birds. Predatory birds that kill other animals or eat meat are not kosher. Milk and eggs are kosher only from kosher animals. That's common sense. Kosher fish must have fins and scales. So, for example, carp, trout, and salmon are kosher, but eel or shark are not. And seafood or even insects are not kosher at all. The Torah also says... You shall not cook a kid in its mother's milk. Therefore, it is forbidden to mix meat and dairy foods. Those who observe kashrut have two sets of dishes at home, basari and khalavi. Kosher restaurants are also labeled like this, so you'll go elsewhere for goulash than for pancakes with cottage cheese. After eating meat foods, observant Jews wait six full hours before eating any dairy. Anything that isn't dairy or meat such as fish, eggs, pasta, legumes, fruit, and vegetables, is parve. It can be mixed with anything at will. Meat is not kosher automatically. A key role is played by a shochet, a Jewish butcher. He knows exactly how to kill an animal so that it does not suffer and that all the blood drains properly. Consumption of blood is prohibited. To help us with all these rules, rabbis oversee products that are kosher and stamp them with a stamp. It's called a hexer. <laughs> yes, that's me! And what is not kosher is called treife. That's from Yiddish. A whole nother chapter could be kosher wine and kosher for Pesach. We could be here till the cows come home. Cows are kosher. Oh, okay, bye now. <laughs>